The main thing I want to talk about is set up and form. Um, what's the most important thing to the bench for everybody here? It's, it's, yeah, it's good. No, it's going to be the setup. Um, as I'm a mechanic, I always use mechanical uh, you know, scenarios. You got to think of yourself like a jack stand up underneath a jack. Um, you know, underneath a car, you don't sit the jack stand like this. You're going to collapse. I don't know if I can get a good. Uh, yeah. I do this raw, I do this in a shirt, the ram, whatever, okay? One, two, three. Okay, now you see my feet, how far back they are? I'm actually pushing this way with my feet. I am pushing as hard as I can and my butt will not come off the bench. Some people want to come out here more. Some people like to drive in here. I can't do that because it lose my balance. So you got to find your perfect position. I go back a little bit where it's almost uncomfortable and then drive my heels back. You see how far I just went up? Okay. Push yourself away from the bar. If you're not feeling it in your traps, you're not doing it right. Another trick is, is keep your shoulder blades together, is being able to pull out on the bar. A lot of people will say, pull the bar apart. A lot of people don't know what that means. It literally means while you're holding on that bar, squeezing it, you're pulling it apart. It's going to pull your shoulder blades back further. Um, it's a big, big trick, and it works very, very good. Um, warming up is, as I do as less as possible, I need to warm up. You know, it's just, um, I believe the more you do raw in your warm up, the more you're taking off the power off your chest when you were out there in the shirt. Because that's basically what, what you need is that speed and the power, you know, also the lockout. Um, you're out there warming up with 500 pounds, 400 pounds, you're taking away from your lockout in your shirt. You know, the shirt helps off the bottom, you know, and the, you really need all the power you can get, you know. So warm up as little as you have to reserve your energy because now you got to get out there and do the three, three biggest meat uh, lifts of your life. Getting much better. You see how he's still, he's still not in a good, good position. Okay. This is the main concept, okay? All right, cool. Elbows in. Back out. Elbows out. All right. You're right over top of your lats. Elbows in. Elbows out. You know, as you come up, you're starting to drive your elbows back, and that's why the weight drives back. So what you're doing is you're just barely touching, driving back. The only time I ever miss a lift, if I can't get it here and start driving my elbows back. Flare your elbows a little bit more, twist them out. Flare. Stop real quick. Let's put it back up in the air again. See, everybody has their different weaknesses and different strengths. You're benching crooked because that wrist needs to go up a little bit further. Because this wrist is cocked all the way back, this one's not, okay? Now gradually come down, elbows in. Go, elbows out, bam, much better. Twist that wrist up a little bit more, much better. And in, in training, I do like triples with 605, I'll do triples with 615 off of boards. Um, I usually, you know, I don't go to three boards very often. Three boards is basically a shoulder shrug for me. Um, and then I'll do 705 triples, 755 triples, you know. 800, I'll start going twos. Now what I do is I back back down. I'll go to 700 off of one board, do triple, 755. And then, you know, that's, that's basically the way I train.